hey hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in this new tutorial we are going to understand in the new channels and layer system it's a very important part of the new so we are going to exploring the basics of the channels and layer system and how you can take the advantage and how you can use in your comp script okay so as you can see here i have a, a comp quickly show you so i have this basic environment comp uh, what what i did basically if i show you the plate so this is the plate i am converting this into a day to night and also changing the sky so this is the plate and this is the day version with the sky replace as you can see and in this second one i am doing a night version as you can see i'm adding a snow and uh, making a moody night scene and as you can see i have a shuffle here and it's called plate coming from this uh, script so let's quickly understand this channel and layer system so by default if you load any exr or anything it show you uh, this much of channels none rgb rgba and the alpha so as you can see if you click you can view all three of this one and if you select uh, any of these and if you go here you can see all four channels and including the alpha so in the new uh, let's go back to the uh, this graph what i made here so if we are viewing this one as you can see i explain a bit here the layers is combining of channels so in the layers you, you have a uh, four channel but you can store multiple channels so more than four uh, we will see in the upcoming tutorial this is just a basic introduction uh, of understanding the channels and layer combination of channels which contain more than one channel we will call a layer in the channel is individual color like rgba and as i said we can add more channel like mask and anything if we in here if you select uh, like this layer and if this layer have only one channel so we can create an individual channel and we can create an individual layer also in new these two are very similar the only difference is the layer contain multiple channels so we calling a layer which we are usually getting from a 3d department like uh, if you are comping a uh, full 3d environment uh, then we are all getting diffuse path and everything that we call a layer here if that layer contain only one channel then we can call a channel okay so as you can see here i have this uh, footage here so in I'm, I'm i'm not gonna walk through the whole script so i'm just uh, focusing on the channels and layer so as you can see here i added a shuffle in the b and in the output i made a new channel going here new channel so by the way in the new you have a shuffle and you have a copy note you can use shuffle and copy to create channel and uh, manage your channels in your script and also you have this remove note this is uh, you can remove and keep your channels to make your script very optimized so we will see how to use these these three nodes so to properly understand the channels and layers so for now let's see the shuffle uh, so as you can see in this shuffle i created this plate what is basically happening i am taking this whatever i am seeing in this rgb uh, i am storing this one into a new layer if i take this shuffle like this i'm connecting here and in the shuffle you, you will see by default like this one so what is basically saying uh, this rgb i'm connecting b input so this rgb is outputting also rgb the incoming and outgoing is the same so but i want to uh, take that incoming and outputting into a new layer uh, in this properties the output layer i can change here i can store this rgb into any of these channels this is the new default channel as you can see i want to create a new one so you can go here create a new add a new whatever and you can click this rgba so by the way it will create a four channel we, we need four for now and let's press ok now as you can see in the drop down menu i have created a new channel if i view this one it, it will be the same so let's go back to rgba the benefit of doing it you can use this one like if you want to use this original input in your comp anywhere you don't need to take this pipe and connect uh, directly to this input layer you can uh, like here I show you I created this channel here everywhere as you can see here also I'm taking this one and color correcting this this thing and again and again I'm using uh, the same plate same original plate as you can see everywhere here and here also same and making uh, some color correction for this footage to make it a uh, night look as you can see here also I have this taking the shuffle and as you can see it's very clean I'm not connecting every single pipe to the input plate 
it just a shuffle everywhere in this side I, I have this camera and here here I'm taking this plate the same shuffle I made a thumbnail I made a post stamp so I'm taking this same plate uh, by the way if you want to shuffle out that channel you can take this shuffle click here and just shuffle out your channel whatever you created like that uh, this one I created a plate so as you can see plate is here here I use this shuffle again to create my alpha from the plate and once I create the alpha so I need to put this one into my B pi in my main B pi for that one I we can use a copy you can use shuffle also but the copy is is more for the channel for individual channels as you can see in my opinion for the layers if you want to manage the layers and all that the shuffle is the best option and for individual channels you can use the copy copy is the best go to so why as you can see we have four individual channels here as you can see by default in the copy we are copying the alpha from a input to b so as you can see i'm copying alpha to alpha now as you can see by disable before in the b pipe i have pure white now i have this alpha so i can pre mold this one very easily and also in the copy node we can copy the layers you can directly copy whatever channels is com is coming from the a you can directly copy from here individual channel or you can set this to all so it will copy the alpha and the all channel from the a input to this p pipe for now i'm just copying the alpha till it label so you can see whatever what is your copying and if i set this to all is it will show all channels also copying for now let's off this one and in the bottom pipe as you can see i'm using this again uh, I created one more channel ocean mat I think in the top yeah like here I'm using this uh, inject mat tool inject channel mat and I'm creating ocean mat layer and I'm using here also see just to create a mat and after creating a shuffle I'm using a remove to keep my script optimized I'm just taking this channel and putting into alpha and then I'm removing every other channel so as you can see now I have nothing if I don't uh, add remove I have all the ocean and plate layer also shuffling out this into RGBA and then removing and then I'm using in my phone I'm adding a remove node here also and removing or keeping the channel so in this case I have keeping the RGBA and the plate just to see the difference so I'm keeping the plate here this is a plate and this is this one so as you can see so remove channel uh, when you don't need it here in this pipe I don't need it so it will carry through these two channels here and it will follow till here because in the merge node you can also copy the channels you can also merge or uh, extra channel removing from here so it will not follow in this pipe okay so as you can see for this 2d 2d work you can copy the channels and create a channel remove channel it's very easy an advantage of creating a channel like see if i add this one this channel created here and in the bottom like here i'm taking transform anything any distortion any warping like if i move this picture like here so if i go to my channel uh, this ocean it's also move okay and this plate is also get transformed so you don't need to add a additional transform and all that good stuff it's applying to everywhere i mean the every layer in the new if you create any node in that one you have this channel option add here and view this one and you can see i can uh, use this grid in in all these channels without extracting the channel out if i grade this one like gain down you can't see anything here because this grid is applying on this channel if i view this channel like this plate as you can see i'm directly affecting with this grid and same as this ocean ocean mat if i go to this ocean mat as you can see we are affecting this layer only if i go to the rgba we are not affecting anything here so in the grid this is if i set all it will affect all by default it's set to rgb in this grid node. same as the other node like if i take the st map node any node you will see the channel option as you can see in this one it's affecting the all so it's affecting the all layers the default transform is affecting all every layer so that's why you don't see anything here in the every node if you see carefully uh, there is some channels and layer channels option here which layer you want to affect uh, by this node also uh, here if i show you this is my sky and i'm using scanline render to output uh, the uh, spherical map i mean in the environment so here you can also use the channels and like if i take this inject mat and i'm adding here and taking a roto shape connecting here just roughly this is my mat and let's see uh, i'm taking this and 
outputting i'm adding a name roto inject mat so before uh, this image going into the scanlet render i have additional layer called this roto so it will show properly so as you can see and this one is storing into a red channel so that's why it's getting red what is happening now after scan and enter we also getting this layer and if i view now it's properly properly transform and and properly wrap to the environment so if i go here and making this small like this so if i view here as you can see it's prop it's properly wrapping around this uh, sphere okay so as you can see i'm using this roto i'm just showing you quickly see as you can see now because it's wrapping so it will animate uh, properly with this with the scan line under because it's a part of the layer now as you can see in the so roto node what i'm doing i'm adding a mask and i'm saying use that roto red as a mask we'll using this one and affecting only this area so uh, this is very uh, basic introduction of the layers and how it's benefit it's very powerful this a uh, layer system and how you can take the advantage in the very complicated scenario very beneficial and make making your script very clean like this as you can see the main area i did here and as you can see it's very clean i don't have additional pipe going around and here and there thank you for watching if you have any question about this uh, topic please let me know